welcome back everyone now windows give you some kind of advanced tool from where you can access many kind of troubleshooting and the advanced options for example if you want to reset your pc without logging to your computer or if you want to reset the forgotten uh, login password or you want to do any kind of system restore without logging to your computer and so many other things that you can do using the advanced startup option so in this video i will be sharing five different method to access the advanced startup option and the reason why i'm sharing all these method because there comes a time when any of the method is not working for you then at least you will be having the other alternate option to access the advanced startup option so very important and make sure that you check all the five method here and without any delay let's quickly get started So the very first method is from your desktop only. Now what you have to do, you need to right click on the windows icon. Then you have to click on settings. In this heading from the left hand menu option, you have to look for windows update. Click on it. Then scroll down a bit and you will find the advanced option. Click on it. Again scroll down and under the additional option, you will find the recovery page. Click on it. And here in the recovery option, you will be getting the advanced startup. Now, in order to access it, you have to just click on restart now. Click on restart now. And the computer will be now starting with the advanced options. And here we are. So now here I can click on troubleshoot. And then I can go with the reset PC option. Or I can again click on advanced options. And I can go with the repairing, the startup setting, the command prompt. Uh, CMO recovery option, system restore, uninstalling the update. So these are the options that you can use to fix and troubleshoot many kind of problem. All right. So this was the first method. Now let's see the second method. So let's say the first method doesn't work for you. You're not able to open the settings. Then what you can do, you can click on the windows icon again. Now here on the right hand corner, you will find the power icon. So what you have to do, you need to press and hold the shift key from your keyboard. And then click on the power icon and then click on restart and now you can leave the shift key and again this will take you to the advanced startup options and this is one of the easiest method because it only take few steps and you can easily be here in the advanced options all right so now let's move with the third method and in this method we will be using the command prompt so let's say if the setting option and the power option both doesn't work for you so click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and here you have to type a simple command that will be shut down space forward slash r space forward slash o and that's it once you have typed this command just hit the enter key it will say you are about to be signed out click on close and wait for a few seconds only and it will be automatically restarting the computer and it will take few seconds and the computer will automatically restart in the advanced options so again an easy method to access the advanced option using the command prompt and now let's move with the method number four where we assume that you're not able to access your desktop and still you want to access the advanced startup so here the scenario can be that you are stuck on the login screen, you forgot your password or you want to do any kind of troubleshooting from the startup page only. Then again, from your keyboard, you have to press and hold the shift key. And while holding the shift key at the right hand corner, you will find the windows icon. Click on it. And while holding the shift key only, click on restart. If it asks you restart anyway, then click on restart anyway. And then now you can leave the shift key. And this will again take you to the advanced startup options. All right, so this was the fourth method. Now let's say that if you are stuck on any kind of a blue screen or you're not able to access your login page as well, then for that you need a bootable USB of Windows 11 or either you should have a Ventoy USB that contains the Windows 11. And for this, I have already created a video guys that you must have a bootable USB of Windows 11 or a Ventoy USB. Alright, so create an installation media of Windows 11 or Windows 10, whichever you are using. And once you have connected the USB, now you have to start the computer in the BIOS mode. Change the boot priority order so that the next time the computer can boot with that particular bootable USB. 
and then once you come to the windows setup page here you have to click on next and instead of install now you will have to click on repair your computer so click on it and again it will give you this kind of advanced startup options so if you want to do any kind of troubleshooting instead of installing the uh, windows 11 then you can access these options here click on troubleshoot you can repair the operating system you can use the ufi firmware settings you can go with the system restore system image recovery or if you had any problem because of the latest update then you can uninstall the latest update from here only apart of that for accessing many kind of different options like making any kind of changes from the registry changing the login password you can use the command prompt which is again very helpful i've already created a video on this topic and if you want to know more about it that how this tool can be helpful to you then watch that video the link will be in the description and that's all guys for today so these were the best five method to access the advanced options on your windows 10 or windows 11 and if you find this information useful make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye